for this opportunity to be here today. I ask each and every one of you to go home with what you've heard today and ask yourself a question. Are there issues in your community that have not been addressed that you would like addressed? If they are, I for one would accept and be glad to come to go anywhere in Newburgh as small a crowd or as large a crowd as is needed to discuss issues associated with your neighborhoods. As we sit here today, we talk about a lot of broad, generalized items. You know, this debate and this mayoral race is about you, where you live, your team working with other areas. And again, I for one say that I would like to see forums. We have the ability now, we have two days, we have two weeks and one day left. And I'm ready any day of the week to go anywhere I'm called with those cameras to discuss the boat launch at Glen Burnie, the infrastructure problems in Riverside, the fact that we can't get the grass boat in Pleasant Hill, the fact we got some zoning and sewer issues in James City, and I'm ready to go to these neighborhoods to where the two mayoral candidates can be put on the spot because I'm, a, I'm really, those are the things, those are the things we haven't talked about, we need to talk about. Let's get away from this, excuse me, stuffy format of forums that we have sometimes. And let's get out and go to the neighborhoods. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak for you today. I look forward to being your mayor in the ensuing year. Thank you. I too want to thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be here today to listen to us and it's the first of three that I know we have scheduled and I would tell you that I agree with um, Alderman Outlaw that you know getting out into the communities and talking about these issues in Riverside and wherever else they are but I want to ask the question where are the aldermen when I was the alderman of the first ward, I was out there addressing the needs of Riverside and addressing the needs of downtown and addressing the needs of Ghent. I expect as mayor that the aldermen do their job. They're the ones that are voted on by the citizens of those neighborhoods. They need to be talking to them. The aldermen need to be communicating and resolving the issues of their neighborhood. And when they can't, when it's bigger than they are, that's when the Board of Aldermen as a group, and the, led by the mayor, steps in and works to make a better new birth. I'm willing to help anybody, anywhere, anytime. And those of you who know me, know me well, I always try to find solutions to the problems because that's the way we'll make a better city. I want this bickering to end. I want to stop pitting one part of New Bern against the other. We are one city. Newburn, and you know that includes Trentwood, that includes Everton, that includes Everton, Fairfield, because their addresses when they write them are Newburn. When they leave this city and somebody says, where are you from? I'm from Newburn. It reflects on every one of us. And I think that's what we have to have, someone who is positive, someone who's upbeat. We're not talking about they have this, they don't have that. We all need something. Every one of us in every neighborhood needs something. It might be better sidewalks. It might be better lighting. It might be better roads. But we will continue to have these issues for many years to come. And it's just how we react. I've told this story to some, and I just have to repeat it. And I know I might be some wasting my time. But 30 years ago, my mother-in-law ran for the mayor of New Bern, And I happened to find the old ad that she placed in the Sun Journal. And I'm telling you, I could have put my picture right on it because this was her platform. Lower utility rates, better public safety, lower taxes, better roads. Nothing's changed, ladies and gentlemen. We will always have these issues. It's how we react to them and how you are represented for them. Let's work our alderman. They need to be doing the job. We elected them just as you will elect us. So I ask you, let's get the alderman working. Let's be a team. And let's not talk about this side of Newburn or that side of Newburn. Let's talk about Newburn and how it becomes better because if downtown motivated you to live in Greenbrier or live in Taberna, then downtown's a good thing. Greenbrier is a good thing because it's got a wealth of people that are working in our downtown. And let me tell you something. It's time that we haven't forget.
the Duffy Field and Five Points community because it's been 50 years or more. Ever since I've walked in this place, I've not seen anything happen, and it will happen under me because I won't rest until it does. Thank you. out to a broad audience. 